the vloggy style this week. Um, I've got a big, big project on the go. It is probably the biggest print I've ever done. So I'm really excited and nervous. Uh, I'm nervous because someone's commissioned me to do it. So I know it's going on somebody's wall. And you know, you need to be relaxed to make good art, but you know, knowing it's going on someone's wall is making me a bit nervous. I'm worried I might have to make it again if it's not quite right. But I've got a plan, and I've already finished cutting out all the blocks for the print itself, and I did that off camera because I really wanted to just knuckle down and focus on doing the work itself and not worrying about, you know, marketing my work and taking videos of it and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the print. If you watch my first ever vlog, you will know I showed you a large print in or like an orange and yellow cube, like this one. And I've brought this old piece of paper out as reference. And this one was reference for the circles on it. I've brought that out so, because it's gonna be a very similar shape, I'm going for a hexagon. But this time, it's gonna fit into a square. So I've had to make some extra parts to do the corners of the square. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's going to be three panels, one big panel in the middle and then two smaller panels on the outside. I've actually decided to make them a bit bigger than what I've written down here for my measurements. Um, but I've got, I've got the plan down and if you look on this wall, if it'll focus, yeah. That's the plan of all the triangles. So I've got the big big square in the middle and the two smaller ones on the outside there. At the moment they're three triangles wide, but I'm gonna make them four triangles wide instead. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. And yeah, here are the blocks all cut. So it's quite complicated. This is gonna be the middle of the hexagon. And I've divided this into four parts so that I will have the hexagon shape. This will be one color and it'll go slightly lighter every color. So it'll be like a dark, I think I'm going for like a dark purple and it'll get slightly lighter as it goes along. And then this piece is for the corners, so if you can imagine, get my ruler here. If you can imagine this is a, a corner, if I cut that part off there, that part is a right angle, so that's one corner. So that'll do the top and the bottom of one side. Then if I cut the print off that way, that part is a right angle. So that'll do the top and the bottom corners of the other sides. So quite quite a complicated design in a way, figuring all that out. And then this one is for the side panels. So what I've done here is I've designed three different types of block. Uh, well, actually five. This is one, two, three. These are four, and these ones here and here are slightly different, five. So what I'll do is I'll print this multiple times in multiple different colors, and then I'm gonna cut all the triangles out and collage them back together um, in a sort of, oh yeah, in a, co in a collage. So they'll all fit back together. They won't be, it won't be printed like, they won't be stuck together like like they are on the on the print on the block. They will be all randomized. So I'm going to randomize all of them and randomize the color. So I've just got to print lots and lots of these blocks, and then I'll cut them all out and I'll move them all around. So quite a tricky and fun process. But today I've 
got the purple out ready and some black because I want to make it a deeper sort of purple. I might use a bit of blue as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get my gloves on and I'm going to start printing the first block. I've already cut all of the paper. Here you can see it's in strips and for the middle part I've got some like bits I've cut into kind of triangles. I've tried not to waste too much paper, I've tried to cut it to save as much paper as I can. So that's that. And yeah, maybe I'll just roll now on the screen the design for the colours so you can see what that looks like. Uh, as you can see there's like three panels and the blue part in the the purple part in the center is like a hexagon shape and that's just a rough guide for the colors that's gonna it's gonna look completely different to that once I've cut and collaged them all out I'm just a rough guide and I will see how they look myself when I start arranging them on the on the floor so back to me I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and then I'm gonna get on with some printing today and perhaps I'll record some as part of this vlog and yeah you can see this huge commission that I've got start to take shape. So I've finished what I can do for today. Um, I might do a bit more this afternoon, but the, the pro problem that I have is I've got nowhere to dry <laughs> my print. So I'm just using my table and the table's full now. So I decided to tidy up and clean, clean all my desk. And yeah, so that's probably it for this vlog today. Until I decide to do some more on this print and I will make a part two, maybe even a part three, depending on how long it takes me to finish. I imagine it will take another two, three weeks to finish, if not longer. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. They, I'm quite pleased with how the prints have come out. They look really nice. I was having a few problems with some of the lines there but I seem to have adjusted my machine and sorted that out so yeah quite chuffed with how it's going and not much more to say other than that I well I, I do have a I've been looking on the internet for like a second-hand print drying rack like a professional drying rack that you would use in a, a, like university or at school and I did find a couple on uh, like the Taiwanese version of eBay, but when I messaged both of the guys, they'd already sold them. So that was a shame. So I just keep looking and if I can't find one, maybe I'll have to make one, but I didn't really want to make one for the reason why it would cost me a lot more money and it would be worse than a second hand one. So we'll keep looking if, 
something comes up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And until next week, have a good week. Goodbye.